Hi, I'm Greg Dell. I'm here with attorney Frank Darris of Darris Law. And in this video, Frank, I want to get people to have a good understanding of what overall, what Darris Law does for its clients when people call you, because there's a whole range of services at all different stages. And um, I know we could probably talk for an hour about this, but just to let them know, we're going to try to do this in, uh, you know, the, the summary, because there's so many details and there's so much information on the website and, and lots of other videos to be done and talk. And ultimately, at the end of the day, after we go through all of this, you want people to know, hey, look, just call you, call me, call any of the lawyers, and we'll be able to help review what you got going on and let you know right away. But we want to give you a summary because too often people, most people hear about you, they land on your website or someone recommended them, but they don't want to read a lot of stuff. So they want a summary video to say, hey, am I at the right place? How can you, Frank, help me with my short or long-term disability claim? So I think for me, I wanted to design a law firm that resembled the best parts of the insurance industry's claim department so that I had stellar lawyers, lawyers that were zealous, uh, that put the client and the insured first, that would answer a call quickly if it came in so that initially you can speak to a lawyer within 10 minutes. And, you know, that's important because it takes a lot for a denied insured or somebody who's thinking about an application or an appeal. You know, they, they, there's, a, there's choices out there. And the difficulty on the choices is you really don't know about the experience or you know, what the culture is of the law firm. If any of my clients come into my law firm, you know, they, they should be a fly on the wall to hear our people's attitude uh, about what they're doing every day. So I tried to create an environment where the best lawyers, the, the lawyers that had the most heart, the, the lawyers that remembered what it was like to be without, uh, so that, you know, when, when, when they looked at a claim, they, they thought about the client and the client was first. They, they know that this client only has this one case and they need the best of us. So great lawyers uh, to start with. Um, second, terrific support staff. You know, I wanted my legal assistants, my secretaries and everybody who was on staff, administrative assistants, the people who answered the phone. Call my law firm, you'll hear the smile in their voice the encouragement, the hope certificate, that people know they're in a good place. They're in a place where people are solid, solid, solid in terms of training, experience, honors, uh, national acclaim. Because there's a lot of places out there, you know, there's not a lot of lawyers who do what we do in the world of disability insurance, not to be confused with Social Security disability benefits, which is over three million people a year applying for a government benefit. The benefits that you focus on are employer provided benefits that are usually backed by an insurance company. And from the research that's published out there and from the depositions that we've taken on the backside, there's only about 150,000 people a year who apply for long term disability insurance. And it actually covers about one third of the U.S. workforce because employers provide this as an employee benefit just like we do for our employees and and apparently a third of the US workforce has this coverage so it's out there like people who get health insurance also sometimes have the opportunity to get short or long-term disability insurance so it's a popular benefit but an overlooked benefit until someone needs it and people don't think you know people say I think I have disability but they don't know the difference between long-term and a government benefit of Social Security that everyone's getting dinged in their paycheck, you know, to pay for it. But there's not a lot of law firms who just do disability insurance because there's not a lot of potential cases out there. So these law firms couldn't necessarily, you know, the law firms are a business also. <laughs> and the law firms couldn't necessarily survive just doing that. But when you have someone like yourself who's been doing this for 40 years and built up a practice from nothing to saying, we have this whole team, we're financially stable. We can do this at affordable rates for people, even at a contingency fee basis where you're not even charging them unless you win because you're established. It's now become about, I can help the claimants to get where they want to be. I've reached that level and I can choose to do the work I want to do. But I want the people to understand 
the different ways in which you help. And, and you know, I'll summarize it in, in a way because I know you help with the application, the claim handling, denials, which is appeals, lawsuits, and obviously also lump sum buyouts. Denials is one of the most common ones. And, and why is it so important when someone, you know, is contacting you for them to have a lawyer if they've been denied? Two reasons. One, if you bought your policy from an agent or broker and it's an individual policy that you pay the premiums on and that you applied for separate and apart from your employment. I see a lot of lawyers across the country that do an appeal on an individual case where they didn't need to. They could just go right to court, file that lawsuit, and preserve the extra damages, the emotional distress. How bad is it when you pay rich premiums for a policy and then the insurance company unreasonably delays or denies your benefits? And what happens to your credit? Your credit gets stained. And then you lose things like your house, uh, foreclosure. It shouldn't be like they say, well, gee, Frank, why, why are you so upset about that? Well, if I rob a bank and I give them the money back 10 years later, why should I go to jail? I gave you the money back. <laughs> there has to be a consequence for that. And I see too often as an insurance bad faith lawyer, a disability lawyer, if an insurance company denies your benefits, they do it at their peril. And you should get emotional distress damages for the worry and the chagrin and your family getting snookered. You should get extra damages if your credit gets stained, if your house gets foreclosed. You know what else you should get, Greg? Punishment damages, punitive damages, where I can hold this insurance company up and say, don't ever do this again. It's a consequence. And attorney fees, different than if you get your insurance through work or you know, the, the, it's a group policy benefit. Then we don't get a trial by jury. We don't get discovery. We don't get extra damages. And most people make fatal claim mistakes in the application process. They make further mistakes in the administrative appeal. And they come to me and say, Frank, you, you've done more of these cases than anybody in the country. You can fix it. I can't fix it. I, I could try and massage it, but I can't fix it. ERISA has very, very time-specific rules and it has very, very difficult time frames that you've got to comply with. So I want to help everybody get their benefits. It's what I live for every day. And people say, oh, you've got a voracious ad uh, appetite for, for d disability. I want people to get what they paid for. It's important. And it's the only thing that puts food on the table. So for me, it, it's all about making sure they get paid. So you've handled thousands of um, appeals, which is what's done after a denial. And of course, you've done thousands of, well, hundreds of long-term disability private lawsuits. And you also have an ability because of your relationship. And, and when someone knows and they're evaluating a law firm where there's a lot of ways strategically where you can get a case resolved, maybe without even having to do a lawsuit because of the fact that there's a 40 plus you know, approximately 40 year relationship with the company where when you crush someone enough, it's almost like a, I don't want to call it a treaty, but like, you know what, let's have this business to business relationship and work together because insurance company, we know that your client's not getting paid. We don't really want to pay them, but we know they're not getting paid it. We say, and the insurance company accepts, we know that you can crush us and tie us up and make us spend you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars litigating, and you probably could do it on hundreds of claims every year, which is gonna cost us millions and millions of dollars of additional fees. So insurance company says, look, we don't wanna increase all of these litigation expenses. We don't want all these resources. We don't want you smearing our name all over the place. Because at the end of the day, these insurance companies wanna sell policies, right? And if it's, they're getting smeared, and everyone's going on Google now, and says, oh, they got sued for this. They didn't pay this person. They didn't do this. That's not gonna go well for them selling policies. On the flip side, we have everything to gain for our clients because we got our clients sitting at home with no money coming in. We want to get them paid. So we're both compromising saying, you know what? Do we really have to go down this road and sue you for every single thing and beat you up for the next year and a half? Or can we try to come together in a reasonably 
expedient manner and see if we can reach a resolution. So claimants get the benefit of your experience and the firm's experience without having to do that. And there's really not anyone else, anyone else out there who's going to offer them that opportunity. Now, that doesn't mean it says, hey, we're going to make a phone call and this thing's done. It's you know that you've got firepower, we've got this gigantic missile, and if you don't want to get it done, then we're going to launch on you and good luck defending yourself. So um, that's a big asset in terms of what you do, and that goes into the denial world. But there's a lot you also do to keep people from being denied. And you know, one of our biggest themes has been protect your benefits, and that's the name that I put on the wall um, in our studio, and I think that's the fundamental, because protect your benefits you've been denied means let's get those benefits paid if you haven't had them, but also let's protect your benefits and not allow you to get denied. And, and how do you help people to do that? So start at the end, you know, the litigation. You know, I tell people, litigation is 12, 18, 24 months before we either get a decision from the federal judge in a group case, or we get to a jury where the jury gives us a verdict. And then we're going up on appeal for another 22 months. If you've got four years and in an individual case, we can spend two, three hundred thousand dollars, no problem. Or we can do it hourly, but a lot of people can't afford that. So I've put up my time and my money. And early on, I said, I want an insurance company to know, you get involved in a case with me, I'm bringing the most unbelievable experts on the planet Earth. They are going to be beyond reproach in terms of their education, training, and experience. They've got 24 carat curriculum vitae resumes, and every insurance company is going to know, I'm bringing the very best. And God help you if you decide you want to test my metal. I've been here longer than anybody. The war chest is huge. I don't like to open it. <coughs> it's not necessary. I've earned the reputation for being fair, but also going to the mat. So you set a phone call. Can I pick up the phone and call the <coughs> National <coughs> Trial Council or the major disability carriers in the country? Yes. And oftentimes, they do want to resolve a case with a phone call early. It makes sense for the client. They don't have to spend four years of, of their life right. doing this kind of thing. They don't have to worry about the expense. They don't need the brain damage uh, of it. And their doctors don't have to come away from their practice to come testify in an individual case or do the other things. So it's an earned respect of the industry. People that I took depositions of 30 years ago are now the general counsel <coughs> of these companies. They know who I am and they know I've been fair, but they know I've been tough. I look at every jurisdiction across the country every single state. Because if you're from Mississippi, I can help you. If you're from Maine, I can help you. That's what I thought about that long ago, that all across the United States, whether you lived in the projects, whether you lived in the city, or whether you lived on a farm, if you had a disability policy that you got denied on wrongfully, you should know where you could go, and the industry would respect your lawyer. Because they don't respect a lot of lawyers out there. Well, it's, um, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a challenge, one of the things, to, to find the right lawyer, but the, uh, fortunately a lot of people find us through the internet or through YouTube and they, and, they, and they see these videos and then they go, I'm glad I found a home, a right person. But what people should understand is that right out of the box when they go ahead and say, oh wow, I, I like what they have to say, they seem like they know what they're talking about, is that we're very accessible, just go ahead and give a call fill out an online form and say, I'd like to set a phone conference. Um, if you do call, you're going to get someone, a lawyer on the phone right away during the regular business hours. And if not, you're going to speak to someone the very next day. So we don't want, we're in the same you know, boat. We want to conquer the insurance companies and make them honor their word, honor their contract. Like you said, people paid these rich premiums and they should get what they're entitled to. And, and that's the passion we have in doing this is, helping someone who's in need and also making an insurance company honor the terms and conditions of the agreement that they sold. So I look at these things like the playground bully and I didn't grow up with much. So what could they take from me? My dignity? They weren't going to take that. And the playground bully shouldn't get away with beating up people without a consequence. So I looked at my people across the country, whether they were had big benefits or small benefits, they all got the same 
care from us. They got the same concern. They got the feeling and the knowing that their case was their only case. And for all our people, we weren't going to get beaten up, worn down, or starved out. Forty years later, the insurance company knows who can muster a fight. Don't want the fight. Don't want it. But, you know, sometimes an insurance company will go after sicknesses, fibromyalgia. They hate those. Long-term, uh, long COVID. They don't like that because there's a lot of subjectivity to somebody right. with fatigue ability, et cetera. How do we test it? Today, you and I can test it with CPETs and different type of, of exotic testing mm -hmm. that's, that's peer reviewed and what have you. So it's firms with wherewithal. It's firms that have been here for a long while. It's firms that when I submit a claim form for an insured, I know what the insurance company says. Wow. Uh, look who he got. Uh, and that's what we should be trying to earn. Uh, the, the client who says, I want a firm from the beginning that I'm going to be respected, that my claim is going to be looked at business to business. Because Unum knows when I submit a claim form, I'm not going to make a policy mistake. There's nothing fatal about what I've done on the application. They know they've got an insured with a legitimate disability that we've hit all the bells and whistles, objective, subjective, financial, vocational, all the medical, and we're going to get them paid as quickly and as efficiently as we can because that's a great day for our firm. Right. Well, I appreciate you sharing your thoughts and, and you know providing some tips about the importance of really having a qualified lawyer and, and explaining to people what the law firm does so that when they do call, they know what to expect, they know what they're getting. And most important too, you have to also feel a connection with your lawyer that, you know, we limit the types of cases that we take. We limit the caseload. Unfortunately, we can't handle every single case because these cases take a tremendous amount of time, attention, and the stakes are high. I mean, I know if I was relying on someone else out there to tell me if I'm going to have money coming in to feed my family in the next two or three months, I better get the best freaking possible <laughs> lawyer that I can. I mean, that's just, there's no other way to put it. And hopefully people have the opportunity to see us, see that we're real people, look at our credentials, speak to, look at our reviews, look at other people and, and build that level of trust and comfort. And most importantly, just call. Let's have a conversation and, and see if we can help you. And if we can't, we're going to tell you why. And then that's important to know. So um, we look forward to the opportunity to help you, whether you call Frank, myself, or any of our lawyers, no matter where you live in the country, we're always here for you, and we look forward to speaking with you.